What's up, my name is Fly Ty, and uh, I've been in the entertainment business for- 40 years. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, a long time. <laughs> a little bit. Um, professionally, 24 years, I've been doing radio for 24 years, but as far as entertainment, I've been in pretty much entertainment all my life, and I think that's what brought us together. He barely looks 24, right? Yeah, that's right. So how long have you been in the business? A little over 15 years. 15 so, years, yeah. you're old, I didn't know you were that old. But I have been trying to get this job for four seasons. So I auditioned two separate times and there was so much going on. So when I finally got it, it was mine. And then they let him guest host a couple times and I was like, why is he here? Because I'm amazing. <laughs> but he guest hosts a few games and we had so much fun and then they brought him on as a full-time co-host the second season. Yeah, so she's the co-host and I'm her. No, she's the host, I'm her co-host. <laughs> I have you want to say it. became best friends, started hanging out all the time, and then we started secretly dating. So we decided to tell our boss a week before our wedding date, right after the game one night, we said, can we have a word with you? And went up to his office, it was about 10 p.m., and that's when we said, we thought we would let you know that uh, we're getting married on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> and he yeah, was like, like that. what in the world? And so it was actually the day that we got married that everyone found out, our friends, fans, yeah. You name it, that was when the cat was out the bag. Our pregame ritual is uh, rehearsal, <laughs> laugh a lot, and, and then we pray. pray before every game. Yep. So um, that that's what makes the magic happen. Ah, that's a good question. I've never been answered it, asked that before. How many t-shirts personally? We do it twice a game, so I know I've thrown out probably 10 to 20,000 t-shirts over the last, seriously. You know, and, and they call me, you know, I know this. What do they the, call you? They, they call oh, me, gosh. no really, seriously, like the fans, they call me uh, Baby Cam Newton, cause I, no, I go all, no. yeah, cause I can throw it to the 200 level. No, they don't. I can throw it to the 200 level. He like, always literally. runs out and says, watch me throw it all the way up there. All and, the way up and there. And embarrassingly enough, it doesn't really get that far. I, it's just like, I should have played NFL, but you know, I love basketball, so <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> you know? My favorite camera would have to be the dance cam. That's mine too. Because that's when fans are having the most fun and to capture those moments, to see someone doing something embarrassing and then the whole arena go, oh, you know, and then we go back to them in a few minutes. Like, I love it. If I could hoop against any Hornet player, I'm gonna take it to another level. I'm like looking toward the bench and saying, Come on, Mike, bring it on. I would, of course, say Kemba because he does like these, right, right before the game starts, they do those little yeah. things or whatever. And I just, I would love to try and cross Dribbling him up. Dribbling drills. Dribbling drills. And, it, and I would want to cross up Kemba. Kemba. Yeah, I would cross him up, I'd break his ankles. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a good answer. Mine better. My most memorable of all times would be a proposal right on the corner here, right behind us. There was a man, he got on his knees, he surprised his girlfriend, proposed, but now that it's been a few years, they actually have a child, and the child's middle name is Hugo, and they love coming to the games, and they, they like, like to be a part of that memory and to see them, you know, four or five years later having a little boy come into the game, and it's date night, and it means so much to them, just like the Hornets mean to us. That's memorable. Story. I didn't know that story. Mm -hmm. Is that a true story? Yeah. For a moment, I forgot that I was the arena host. I ran out on the court and I was taking video of Kimba. I'm like, man, that was amazing. And I almost gave him a high five while he was still on the court. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you out on the court? I was like, I'm bad. Like, yeah, I'm wearing the chest bump, you know. Yeah. So that's like, that was one of my favorite moments. It's been about six years now, and it's been amazing. It's been a great journey to work alongside my best friend, because this is my best friend, even when um, she kind of makes me a little upset, you know, when she wants to run things, you know. And, um, and, and it's, all, it's fun work that we do. It doesn't feel like work.